quantity and the right quantity of food being a constitutional right. Still, one in every five Kenyans go to bed hungry. According to the newly released Right to Food Universal Periodic Review Report, released by the Right to Food Coalition and WHH, Kenya needs to implement a raft of reforms in its agri-food systems and contain macro and economic challenges if the country is to make progress in the right to food. This year or last year had floods, which caused a lot of devastation. We lost a lot of uh, farmland. We have drought. Uh, we came from the worst drought in the last in the 40 years. Agriculture is also facing the issue of population growth. Uh, one key recommendation we have is for the government to reconsider the austerity measures that are in place. Uh, we know we have a debt problem, a debt challenge in the country, but the austerity measures have reduced the purchasing power of households. The other uh, key recommendation we have is to establish a legal framework uh, to uh, re help realize the right to food. This legal framework uh, ha will have accountability measures. Kenya committed to two basic uh, requirements. One is to uh, enhance the food security in the country and the other one is to fight malnutrition throughout the different regions and especially the malnutrition of children. And uh, the report uh, tells us that uh, progress has been made but there's also stagnation since a couple of, uh, in the last couple of uh, period, since the last review. And the Board of Trustees of the Safaricom Staff Pension Scheme has elected